Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, we're going to be talking about some common issues on why your PlayStation 5 microphone is not working. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. So you have a headset on your PlayStation 5 and the microphone on it is not working all of a sudden. What are some things that you can do to go ahead and fix this? Now the first thing that we should do in this situation is completely reset everything. This includes our PlayStation 5 and our monitor or TV. So locate the power button and completely turn off your PS5. So if it's turned on, you want to hold down the power button and hold it down for about 5 to 10 seconds and you'll hear a second beep and the light will flash and this will bypass rest mode and completely shut down your PS5 and then unplug it from the wall outlet and any kind of cord on the back here just unplug it real quick and then plug it back in and leave it unplugged for about one minute for specifically the power cord now let's go ahead and unplug my PlayStation 5 then wait one minute and plug it back in now I'm gonna turn on my headset so here's the power button for me I'm gonna make sure this is turned on and I can see it's flashing blue. And that means it's trying to connect to the USB dongle. And make sure the headset volume is turned up. So right here is my volume. And I can see it's rotated all the way up. Now sometimes I will run into an issue because my USB dongle is plugged in, but it's not plugged in all the way. So unplug this and plug it back in maybe try a rear USB slot instead of the front one that may be an issue as well so let's go over to my PlayStation 5 right now and I'll show you some settings on there now when you get on to your PlayStation 5's home screen here press the PlayStation button and open up the quick menu and make sure your microphone and your sound is not muted now if it is muted on your controller it may look like this there's going to be like a red or an orange button that will be glowing right between the thumbsticks. Now you can press this and this simply is a mic mute button or an all audio mute button. If you press it once, it will mute the microphone and it will kind of stay like solid red. If you hold this down, this will mute all the audio and it will go ahead and flash. So if I go over to my PS5 right now, so if I press this once, it will mute the microphone. If I hold this down, it will mute all the audio and your microphone. So make sure that is not glowing. Or you can go to sound right here and turn off muting. And you want to do the same thing for your microphone since this is muted as well. So I'll mute that. Now under sound, make sure for output device, your headset is selected. If it's a controller headset, make sure it says sound through the controller or a headset, etc. Something like that. It's going through the controller. So I have my USB headset selected, my Turtle Beach Stealth 700. Make sure the volume is turned up under here as well. If it's too low, you're not going to be able to hear anything. Also, make sure this is on checkmarked as well. Mute game voice chat. Well, if this is checkmarked, you're not going to be able to hear anybody's voices in the game chat. In games like Fortnite or Call of Duty Warzone, you're not going to hear anyone speak. So make sure this is on check mark. Also, make sure you're not in a party chat. If you're in a party chat like this, you're not going to be able to hear anyone speak in game chat. So go ahead and leave that party chat. And it's very easy to leave your party chat. So I'm in a party chat right now. You just have to go to leave party right in the center of the screen. They made it very easy. Now, to get back to this party chat screen, here's a quick little tip on how to do that. Just double tap the PlayStation button on your controller really quick. And it'll instantly open up this voice chat party for you. And then you can leave or you can switch over to the game chat. Now, to switch to the game chat, you have to have a game opened up, but you'd go right here. And then you can simply move down to game where it says you haven't joined any game voice chats. You just select the game and you would be able to join that. Now, let's go back on over to the microphone under the quick menu and make sure your microphone is selected. So USB headset, Turtle Beach, Stealth 700 selected. 
then it's not muted and go to adjust microphone and make sure this isn't too low or too high. If it's too low, you're not going to be able to hear anything and your friends won't hear you. So then start talking under here and make sure it's right around good. And you can increase it or decrease it with the slider on the bottom. Now let's go up to the top of the screen and go to settings and scroll on down until we get to sound. Then under here, we'll have the same kind of options like input device, your microphone. Now here's a little option right here that says microphone status when starting voice chat or broadcast. You may have switch to mute accidentally selected. Go to do not change. So if you did have switch to mute activated, every time you join a voice chat party, your microphone is going to be automatically muted. And the same thing for microphone status when logged in. Make sure this is turned on and not select muted. This would mean every time you log into the PlayStation 5, your microphone will automatically be muted. Then go to audio output. Just double check output device selected to your headset. Then here's an interesting little setting. This says switch output device automatically. So if you have this check mark, when you plug in your new headset, it's going to automatically switch over to the device that was just plugged in with your microphone and also your headset audio. If you have this turned off, you can switch the output device different than your microphone. So I could select my HMI TV device and I could also select my microphone just to my USB headset. So if you are using a USB microphone that's different than your headset, make sure this is turned off. Otherwise, it's going to automatically try to switch over your devices to your headset. Then scroll on down to headphone audio. Now, if you want to get all the audio in your headset, make sure all audio is selected. If you have just voice chat audio selected, the game sound is going to be trying to come through your TV. And just the voice chat audio will be in your headset. So if you have all audio selected, both the game sound and the voice chat will be coming through your headset. Then enable 3D audio for your headphones. This will allow you to hear audio in the horizontal and the vertical locations, which is very sweet. You could hear someone who's above you and know they're above you and know if they're behind you just by listening to the sounds. Then adjust the 3D audio profile and select the height of the 3D audio, whether it's above or below, depending on your ears location on your headset. Then make sure this setting isn't selected as well. This says mono audio for headphones. Play the same audio from both your left and right headphones. So you want this to be independent. So make sure this is on check mark. Otherwise, it's going to sound the same. Then under audio format priority, Let's say your sound just isn't working. Go ahead and just try a different format. I typically leave mine to Dolby. If you're going to be using 3D audio through your TV speakers, you'd want to set it to linear PCM. And then just double check volume for the last setting right here and make sure your headset volume is turned up. Now back under the party chat here, if you are in a party chat, you have an audio balance for your party and your game sound. So you can move this little slider to the left or to the right to adjust the sound. So let's say your voice chat is too loud and you want the game sound to be a little louder. Go ahead and just move this slider. And it kind of gives you like an indication the game is on the left, whereas the voice chat is on the right. Then you have mute all. This is going to mute everybody in the party. So you can see there's a little cross under my name on the left side as well as the party. So make sure this isn't accidentally selected. Then go to voice chat settings. You can share your voice. You can mute game voice chat. Also, you can go to one of your friend's names. So if you go to like their profile right here, there will be an independent voice chat slider for them. For me, it won't show up because I'm selecting my name. You can increase the sound of their voice just by selecting their name. And this can be independent from other friends. So if someone's a little bit too loud, you can make them softer. And let's say everything else fails, you can go to chat transcript right here and turn this option on. And then every time you go to the voice chat now, what they say will show up under this screen. So hello. So you can kind of read what they're saying. And this kind of works well sometimes and other times it'll be completely off. 
but you can kind of get an understanding of what's going on in the party chat if you can't hear them. So hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, go and leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech up videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.